Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 37. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our stage fuel injection feature. Now, our stage injection feature is going to allow us to run another set or a third set of injectors. So, depending on what kind of engine you're working with, with V8 engine, you might have 16 injectors, you might have 24 injectors. Now, there's various ways we can implement the programming strategies. I'm going to go walk you through some of the older implementation from the V4 version of the software, as well as the new features we find in our V5, where we actually control each individual set independently and the programming is a lot more flexible. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can learn about how to program our stage fuel injection in our Holly V5 software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Holly EFI software in conjunction with controlling 16 or more injectors using an HP or Dominator box. Now depending on what kind of box we're using, an HP or a Dominator, we may be limited to how many injectors that we can control. So with an HP box, we can control up to 16 injectors. We only have eight injector drivers. We can drive two sets of injectors at the same time off of one driver. We also have an Dominator, four extra injector drivers that we can control and program to stage our fuel injectors. So we'll find that we have a primary set of injectors of eight injectors on an eight cylinder, and then we can have a second set of eight injectors that we control independently. So we might want to run idle and cruise on one set or a primary set of injectors and then bring our second set in as we need more fuel flow rate as we get up into higher and higher amounts of boost where we're going to need that additional fuel supply. So we have some flexibility in the way we can program some things, but there's going to be a lot of programming details that we need to cover in this video so you're very clear on how to implement this. Now, that's gonna be more of kind of the old school way of controlling either eight, 16 injectors or going in working with a stage injection. If you have an HP box, you can now run a spare injector driver box from Holly. It's CAN bus based, and then you can control another set or even uh, three sets of injectors right through that external controller and being able to program those independently in the software. So there's gonna be kind of different tiers of how, how you wanna work with this and how you wanna control things. We're gonna start off with the most simplistic kind of older way to work with controlling 16 injectors or stage injection, and then move into this newer way in V5 that opens up more of a tuning window. So first and foremost, one thing I wanna get out of the way right now, if we're referencing any of the schematics from Holly, sometimes when you're looking at the schematic, if you're looking at how to wire injectors, especially if you're gonna be doing any kind of stage injection or wiring multiple injectors, if we take a look at the injector outputs, we're going to be finding on the J1B connector on an HP or Dominator box. We'll find that we have our injector outputs 1 through 8. Those are going to be labeled A through H, typically, in a schematic from Holly. They're not going to be labeled with numbers. They're actually going to be labeled with letters. And then on a Dominator box, where we have those four other spare injector drivers, we're going to find those are on the J2B connector, and those are going to be labeled I through L, respectively, through the drivers 9 through 12. So if you're referencing your schematics from Holly, it can be a little bit confusing. I wanted to point that out because it has tripped me up before trying to figure out what they're talking about with the lettering in association with the injector driver or the cylinder you're actually trying to fire. So that's kind of an important detail that you need to know. All right, so let's jump here to our first example. Let's go into our system ICF. We're gonna go down here to engine parameters and we're gonna go here into fuel injection information. Now, this first situation or scenario is going to be if you have an HP or Dominator box, you don't wanna stage the injectors, but you wanna control two sets of injectors from one injector at the same time. So in this scenario, you'll have two injectors in each runner in the intake manifold. Both set of injectors in that particular runner will get a common power source. Then we're gonna have one injector driver is gonna be controlling two sets of injectors. We're actually gonna be splitting the signal, the actual signal coming from the Holly to drive the injector. We're gonna be splitting that and wiring that to the injector. This is what's known as a parallel configuration. We'll find that the Holly driver has to be set up very particularly here as we're going through it and uh, making sure that we have our programming right in order for this to work properly. So first thing we're going to do here is the number of injector sets. We're gonna be setting this to three. Now, the reason why I'm gonna be setting it here to three is because we need to make sure some of the programming details are correct. The way the Holly is going to work in this implementation is basically telling it that we're firing two sets of injectors off of one driver. This is just gonna be how we virtually program things. We're still gonna be firing them and everything's gonna be functioning as we'd expect, but the programming here is a little bit odd, so we need to make sure we get this correct. So we're gonna set our number. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here.
If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.